What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Cleaver, Colin Andrew, and I'm gonna talk about Extreme Rules from last night. What a fucking shit show. Was this WCW uh, Thunder? Was this WCW, was it 2000? This was a dog shit show, in my opinion. Um, the United States title match did not even take place. Apollo Crews is hurt again from last month so we saw MVP just take the belt and say he's you know technically the champion since by forfeit uh, or whatever and then we had a decent women's championship match for the Smackdown Women's Championship um, where we all saw we all knew how that was going to end with Sasha helping Bailey. And we saw that with the, the Banks little hand thing getting slid into the ring. They're handing it off to Bailey and then pop right in the face. Um, we got new tag champs, thank God. Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm always down for that team. Um, two very underrated competitors, in my opinion. Um, the ending of that match was sick, though. I love the. Uh, the power bomb off the turnbuckle through the two tables on the outside. That was really cool. I thought that they were gonna botch it there for a minute because of the, because uh, Cesaro looked like he was about to drop Kofi for a second, um, which would have been really bad because if he would have dropped him, I could see Cesaro actually falling forward and falling through those tables. And then there would have been a what the fuck moment. But, um, the eye for an eye match. It was a good match until the end. Like I hated how they did the the eye thing. I was curious how they were going to do it, and it was just so fake, man. It was just so fake. It was just good effort, but whatever. I kicked ass on predictions, pretty much though. Um, the Raw Women's Championship match ended in a fuckery of all fuckeries. We saw, so it was Asuka versus Sasha Banks. We had Bailey in Sasha's corner. We had Kyrie in Asuka's corner. And both, all four women got involved at one point. And um, Bailey tried to give Sasha one of the tag team championships to hit Asuka with, but Kyrie handed off something to Asuka which would have been the green mist she went to go hit the green mist while the referee was given a belt back well the referee was back in place and Sasha ducked and she hit the referee with the green mist this brings Bailey back into the ring and hits Sa or hits Asuka with a tag to women's tag belt in the back up of her neck back of the head area and knocks her down and takes the referee's shirt off and counts the one, two, three for Sasha. And then is saying, ring the bell, gets in the timekeeper's, uh, you know, face and makes him ring the bell and then raises the hand of Sasha. But there's never been an official call. So in my mind, Asuka is still the Raw Women's Champion. And we'll see where we go from there tonight on Raw. Uh, we saw the WWE Championship match. Dolph versus Drew. Dolph got to pick the stipulation. He picked extreme rules only for him. Uh, if Drew gets counted out or disqualified or anything else, but hit a one, two, three. In a normal traditional wrestling rules match, he loses his WWE Championship. I think the best part of this pay-per-view was that damn Claymore that Drew McIntyre hit on Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler was going for a super kick and out of nowhere, bam, Claymore. Beautiful Claymore, one, two, three, still your champ. Still yo champ, Drew McIntyre. The Swamp match ended the show. And it was extremely weird to watch. Um, we saw Bray Wyatt sitting in a rocking chair in like the middle of the road, and we saw Braun Strowman driving his truck. And he parks and he gets out and next thing you know, the lights go off, Bray's gone, and it says 
abandon all hope to we who enter or something on this sign and Bronn picks up his rock and Bray's rocking chair and smashes it against a tree and he walks into the swamp and some people you know, wooded area and some people start jumping him trying to figure out who these dudes are they start attacking him and then he gets hit in the back with a shovel by himself by the black sheep Braun Strowman and then after that he wakes up in this little hut thing barn garage whatever the hell it is chained to a chair and Bray's walking down with his lantern and we get all these other flashbacks and it was just it was freaking nuts and then we get down by the water and we hear Braun come home Braun come home and we see Alexa Bliss dressed as Sister Abigail saying that we could be together and then we get all these flashbacks from Team Little Big and it was pretty it was pretty nuts it was pretty pretty weird um when they start fighting in the water and well actually no sorry Bray hits like a choke slam or no, Braun hits a choke slam on Bray into the boat and then sends it out to sends it out to sea quote unquote and starts walking away and the boat starts coming back. Braun gets in the water and the boat's empty. Next thing you know, Bray shows up with the paddle or the oar and starts beating him down with it. And we get back on to land after it looks like he dr pretty much drowned Braun Strowman. We get back on the land and Bray gets booted off the dock. And we think that's it. And Braun's looking over the water and boom, we pop up and there's the mandible claw. And it pulls them into the water. And they're down, they're down, they're down. Water turns red, starts bubbling. Next thing you know, Bray Wyatt head pops up in the dock wearing the fiend mask. So if, I guess Bray Wyatt wins the match even though the fiend wasn't in the match. Whatever. Um, so looks like we're going to get Strowman versus Wyatt 3 at SummerSlam. Uh, the Fiend versus the Monster Among Men for the Universal Championship. That's just my guess. Um, I'm still s eager to see what happens with this Raw Women's Championship ordeal. Um, I believe the Kabuki Warriors are supposed to challenge for the Women's Smackdown or the Women's Tag Team titles tonight on Raw, but I cannot remember 100%. Uh, and we also saw in a kickoff show we saw Kevin Owens beat Murphy. Um, and also, one thing that kind of threw me off a little bit, too, in the eye for an eye match, there was no outside interference from anybody. Dominic didn't show up until the end. Um, you know, right after Ray's eye was supposedly out, and Seth Rollins threw up, and it was that was kind of weird, too, Rollins throwing up after the match. But uh, it is what it is. What were your opinions on this show? Uh, if I had to give it a letter grade, I'd probably give it about a C-, minus. to be honest with you. Um I was not very thrilled whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to give it like a C minus. Uh, what were your opinions on the show? Leave them in the comments below. Um, stay tuned for more upcoming content soon. I've decided that I'm going to start doing some more stuff because wrestling has been so lackluster lately. I'm going to start doing a few new things for this channel, get some more uh, activity on here. So, um, Follow my good friends over on Aftermatch Wrestling on YouTube. That's all one word, A-F-T-E-R-M-A-T-C-H space wrestling. Uh, find them on Twitter as well at Aftermatch Rest, W-R-E-S-T, and Aftermatch underscore wrestling on Instagram. Um, you can find me on Twitter. Go to nodq.com forward slash column. They'll take you right to my Twitter page. Um, Click the like button, click the share button, and click the subscribe button. Um, broke over 300 subs this past week, so thank you all very much for that. Uh, started off this year with under 100, so it's been a good year so far. Um, but yeah, so share the love, stay positive, uh, wash your hands, and yeah, man, take it easy, have a good Monday, and we'll catch you next time.